Hey everyone, Andrew the Video Guy here. Now that we've gotten our DC fast charging stations here at Garvey Hyundai, I wanted to take a minute to talk about the different kinds of plugs that your electric vehicle might take, so that whether you're shopping for an EV or just looking for a place to plug in, you know exactly what's out there. Now, if the length of this video is intimidating, I get that. Here's the quick upshot. If you're using AC charging level one and two, and you have a non-Tesla vehicle, you will use this J plug. And if you do level three fast charging, you will use this CCS plug. But if you're interested in some of the nuance and extra standard that is on its way out, a look to the future and where Tesla stands on all this, then keep watching. Now, I still want to keep this video kind of quick, so to that end, that's the part of the video where I talk about conductive versus inductive charging of the 90s and early 2000s as it pertains to the history of electric vehicle plugs and charging standards. We don't need it. We are instead going to start with this, the SAE J1772 plug, or J plug for short. Now, if you buy a brand new electric vehicle in North America, or Japan. Uh, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll stop. Then this is what you will be using. It is for level one and two AC charging either at home or at your destination. It clicks into place, ensuring a strong connection. And then when you're done, you just depress the thumb button to disengage it from its socket, conveniently also cutting off power at the same time so you don't get corrosion buildup from electrical arcs. Because they deliver power so much more quickly and use DC rather than AC, level three fast charging plugs need to be slightly different than level one and two. So we'll start with looking at Chatamo, which started out in Japan and for a time was the dominant standard for Asian manufacturers. To this day, it's still used in the Nissan Leaf and the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. Chatamo's days are numbered though, because a couple years after it debuted, it met its competition with the Combined Charging System, or CCS, which is championed by European and North American manufacturers. This uses the same port as the SAE J plug, but adds two DC high voltage pins for fast charging. This simplifies things by keeping all of the charging in one spot and allows for much faster charging than the Chatamo standard does. The all new Nissan Aria uses CCS and even the next generation Nissan Leaf is expected to switch over, meaning that Chatamo is a legacy standard now. New vehicles are not coming out with it. If you have one of those legacy vehicles, then these plugs are still out there at charging stations. But when you're getting a new car, all you need to worry about for DC fast charging is CCS. A quick side note about Europe. Yes, I know I said that this was going to be a quick and focused video, but trust me, this is gonna pay off. In Europe, they use a very similar system to what we do. Whereas we have J1772 type one plugs, they have type two plugs, but the idea is the same. One plug for AC charging, plus two more pins for DC fast charging underneath it, also called CCS. And it's basically the same, electrically, right? That's a massive oversimplification, but we're just gonna roll with it because our customer base is in North America. The important part is that in the late 2010s, the European Union dictated that all new EVs sold in Europe need to come with the ability to charge using these Type 2 and CCS plugs, including Tesla, who up until that point had been using their own proprietary plug that they still use in North America to this day. Tesla's plug is smaller than any of the standards that we've talked about so far. The same plug can be used for both AC charging as well as DC fast charging at a supercharger station. When you buy a new Tesla, it does come with a J-plug adapter, so you're able to charge at level two wherever you go. If you want to use a non-Tesla level three charger though, you will need an adapter. Uh, you can import a Chatamo adapter that Tesla currently sells overseas. You can wait for Tesla to release their CCS adapter here in North America later in 2022. Or you can get one from a third party manufacturer right now, like Lectron. Uh, if you have a non-Tesla vehicle, you can charge at a destination charger at level two, again, with a third-party adapter, but there is currently no way to charge at a supercharger station at level three. That said, Tesla does have a pilot program running in Europe and is planning to bring it to North America later this year. So there you have it, a sort of quick overview of the kinds of plugs used to charge up electric vehicles in North America today. From the J-plug for AC charging, CCS and for now Chatamo for DC fast charging, and Tesla off doing its 
own thing that sometimes crosses over. These standards are always consolidating and are getting simpler all the time. And that means that it's never been a better time to check out getting a new EV for yourself. To see what we've got, just give us a call, go online, or stop into any DriveGarvey location today.